Hey, Mr. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of nothing. Wait! Where are you going? Hey mister, we are in Berlin and we're continuing our interview with David Turner. Um, the style. The camera work in your form is amazing. It's, it's very intensive, it really draws the, the viewer into the story. Um, especially the compositions are very... Yeah, they're like... They're very detailed, they're very... There's a lot of movements going on. The, um, any moves a lot in the composition. Um, how did you do it? Did you plan that very much and, and before? How, how was that? Um, yeah, for this film we wanted to... Um, my brother actually shot it and, and for, this, for this film we wanted to um, yeah, put more time into locking down the camera and, and put uh, emphasis on the, the composition and, and have that all you know planned out um, and, and then kind of let the uh, elements of the you know in, in the scene whether it was um, a person or 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 an object or whatever let let them kind of um, you know enter and, and dictate their action through yeah. the, through the frame and um, and ma make them kind of control the action rather than the camera you know um, dictating that um, so that was a conscious decision from the start and kind of the way we operate is have a very detailed plan uh, going going into it. Um, where we, we know exactly what we want to do and how we're going to cover the scene. And then once we get there, or if it's a change of location or something like that, then we have, um, then we're, we're open to being flexible. You yeah. know, but we always have that kind of blueprint to fall back on. But that style was definitely there um, uh, from, from the beginning. It just seemed kind of an interesting approach yeah. to us uh, so that, um, I don't know, so, so that it felt like, that, that the character Annie was kind of dictating, you know, the the actions in the scene, and and the the, the camera was a little more observational, um, which you know we like doing it the other way as well. But for this, it seemed like an interesting way to go. And um, as you said, there are a lot of observational shots in the film, um, like still static observational shots. Um, yeah, why did you decide to to do that? It seems a bit like also a bit like documentary in some scenes. Uh, we, we just thought the camera should maybe. I, I just like the idea of being a little more passive and putting the time in the compositions. Yeah. And we, so that the actors actually change. Yeah, the yeah. We wanted the we wanted um, the character um, of Annie to just kind of be allowed to um, kind of breathe, you know, on, and and, uh, and and go through a range of emotions within one shot. Um, for just we wanted the kind of child performance that felt a little more natural and. Um, you know, a lot of child performances, I think, are really manufactured through editing and um, out, out of necessity. And, uh, you know, where they just cut to a close-up for lines and there's yeah. not really, you know, passion behind that or anything. Yeah, and, yeah. and we wanted just... Uh, Seems like plastic. But yeah, yeah, exactly. And we wanted to have her be much more real and have the same, you know, expectations that you'd have for, you know, an adult performance. And... Um, and so that was a big part of it as well. Just wanted to, it, it was a you know it was a challenge for us to just we wanted to do long takes with her and just allow her to, you know, go through a range of emotions. Um, and about that, how did you direct your actress, um, Sydney? I can't pronounce her last name. Oh, Aguirre. Aguirre. Yeah. Um, like, she really does an amazing performance. How did you find her, and how did you yeah how did you work with her? Oh, thanks. Um, well, she we had worked with her on a music video a couple years ago, and yeah. it was at a similar kind of melancholic tone, and um, she was so fun to work with and and very easy to work with, and understood the language of film, that um, kind of thought she'd be perfect for this role, and then kind of tailored this role a little bit to her strengths. Um, she is not. Um, she wasn't previously, uh, she hadn't acted before, yeah. but we wanted a non-actor that could, you know, be more, a little more nat natural, you know, yeah. for, for a child performance. And so, uh, but she hadn't read a script and, and that wouldn't, so she wasn't familiar with scripts, so it wouldn't really help to just hand her the script for the film. So 
Um, I did in installments as we were shooting things, but initially uh, what I did was just kind of sit down with her and we spent a lot of time um, just kind of uh, discussing the tone of the film and discussing the character yeah. and then discussing kind of similar things um, that either we personally experienced or, or you know we knew you know some like kind of loners kids at our school some there's some element to be able to relate to yeah. some of her behavior and and make sure that um, she and and myself and uh, my brother were all um, kind of on the same page as to yeah. to what we were going for tonally and then once we actually um, uh, you know went to went to shoot the film it was much, it was very easy uh, because we already had a shorthand she already she we all knew we were trying to accomplish the same kind of film and so uh, it was yeah that, that was the most important thing was just getting everyone you know on the same page as to what we were trying to accomplish so um, another question about the style there's a lot of color in this film like it's um yeah, but very intensive color, like intensive green, intensive red. Um, why did you decide this? Does it has to do something with the like the power of maybe also fairy tales, or is there? I think so, and just the fact that yeah, we were shooting outdoors, and there's just the I mean, almost the entire film is out outside, and just like with this kind of lush, um, yeah, just just the, the the kind of natural, you know color of, yeah. the, of, the, of the landscape around and um, but yeah I think um, that that element of you know the kind of fable element I wanted the, yeah. you know, the, the colors to be kind of heightened it makes the experience watching it very intensive mm -hmm. so yeah um, yeah we liked it <laughs> thank you okay